Serisi Member of Parliament John Waluke is now at the verge of losing his seat after the High Court today morning upheld the ruling of the Magistrate Court that Waluke and his co-accused Grace Wahungu serve a jail term of 67 years and 69 years respectively for defrauding the National Serials and Produce Board of 313 million Kenyan shillings in a maze candle. Waluke is serving his third term in Parliament after being re-elected in the August general election on a Jubilee party ticket. To avoid the jail term, Waluke must pay a fine of 727 million Kenyan shillings, while his business associate Grace Wahungu has to pay 707 million Kenyan shillings. In the ruling delivered virtually, Justice Esther Minor said the sentence imposed by the magistrate court were within law. Saying in a court, after carefully considering evidence, this court came to the conclusion that the appeals have no merit, the criminal charges were proved beyond reasonable doubt, end of quote. Justice Minor further ruling, quote, the invoice upon which the claim for payment was based was a forgery. Waluke presented it to an arbitrator, knowing very well Errol Supplies and General Contractors Limited had no dealing with the maker of the invoice, Chelsea Freight Limited, and as a result, it was paid the sums by a public body. End of quote. Waluke and Wahungu face five criminal charges, including uttering a false invoice, giving false evidence, and fraudulent acquisition of public property. The case dates back to 2004 when NCPB floated a tender for the supply of 180,000 metric tons of white maize to gap the deficit. Waluke and Wahungu, through their company Arad Supplies and General Contractors Limited, won the tender to supply 40,000 metric tons of white maize but were not issued with a letter of credit to import maize from abroad. The duo, however, did not supply the white maize despite a sum of 313 million Kenyan shillings from the National Cereals and Produce Board. The High Court also overturning the acquittal of former Kipipiri Member of Parliament Amos Kimunya in the 60 million Kenyan shillings graft case. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.